My name's Peter Lyons Collister, ASC. I'm a cinematographer. I was invited to a test shoot of the new DXL2 at Panavision. Most important thing for me is skin tones. Now with Monstro and IPB2, I can take subtlety in color manipulation to a new level. My name is Javier Grobe and I'm a cinematographer. I came to Panavision Woodland Hills tonight to see a test on the DXL2. It was very nice to see the camera. The quality looks amazing and it's something that I would like to test further for sure. The anamorphic flare attachment mounts on the Panavision prime lens and creates this true anamorphic horizontal flare. What I liked was that it was subtle. For night shoot or interior shoot where you can control the light your likes, it's an amazing thing because we're always trying to go into the darkness and try to use the least light possible. So it's definitely a great thing. There was a set of the Vintage 65 primes, which I'd never seen. Basically, the Vintage 65s are T1s. Focus fall off and all that is so interesting from both a large format standpoint and a wide aperture standpoint. These cameras are so sensitive. You're always trying to look for something to make them a little more cinematic. So using old lenses and trying to play around with the quality of, of lensing is definitely something that can help. It was interesting to see, especially when you turn the white lights off, the camera actually reacted very well to the red light. Usually the red light is very hard on the shape and, and the definition, and this one was very, very clean. Red has always been a problem. Only 25% of the sensor sites are red. You're basically shooting under quarter resolution, whereas with 8K now, you're actually getting 2K resolution out of your pure red light scenes, and so it's gonna be sharp. I know that in the end result, I saw things that I was very pleased with. That combination, how well I thought the colors came out. I did like it a lot. Yes, I did like a lot what I saw. Mm.